now to Duxbury, where the high school football coach has been removed from his job. The team is accused of using anti-Semitic language on the field. As WBZ's Anna Myler explains, the school is taking several steps now to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. Duxbury High School is now working with the Anti-Defamation League and they have hired an independent investigator to look into all allegations against the football program. School officials say they are horrified and disappointed to learn the players used this offensive language. My understanding is that Auschwitz, um, Rabbi and Dreidel uh, were substituted for the names of plays. Those are just some of the words players on the Duxbury High School football team are accused of shouting while calling an audible during a game against Plymouth North earlier this month. Outrage is rippling through the community. It's so painful for the Jewish community. It's so painful. Um, and that saddens me greatly. The district fired head coach Dave Mamer on Wednesday and placed him on administrative leave from his job as a special education teacher. I don't know how a coach would allow this to happen where to me it's a lack of respect for you know, the Jewish culture, the Jewish religion. State Senator Barry Feingold, who is Jewish and played football in high school and college, reached out to the team hoping to turn this into a teachable moment. When someone says Auschwitz, I don't think these young people understand how harmful and hurtful that is. An independent investigator is looking into the incident. Reverend Dr. Catherine Clark, the president of the Duxbury Interfaith Council, hopes many questions will be answered. How long has it been going on? Who knew about it? She's meeting with school officials tomorrow to discuss how to heal from this and how to move forward together. I think we are going to be a strong, much stronger community in the end for this. I truly do. The varsity football game tomorrow has been canceled, as well as the JV and freshman games on Saturday and Monday. School officials say the fate of the rest of the football season will be determined at a later date. Reporting in Duxbury, Anna Myler, WBZ News.